look, B-Day is right around the corner. So we're still giving you all the best suggestions to make sure that you make the most out of the day with your special somebody. So today I am here with executive chef of Il Solito, Casey Gibson. Chef, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Oh, we love anytime we can have some food on the show and we love telling people where they need to go to have the best time for Valentine's Day. And obviously that's at Il Solito with you guys. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> so tell me what you have on the menu for Valentine's Day. So we have a special pre-fee. It's a multi-course pre-fee. A uh, couple different choices on each course. We have a couple of things from the menu. Uh, we've got a whipped ricotta on house-made focaccia. This is also our house-made focaccia. And then this is a, basically a rolled lasagna, vegetarian style. And I'm gonna put together a salad off the menu as well. Nice. Okay, let's let's start building that salad because I got more questions. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> tell me, tell me what we're what we're putting on it. So this is a dill dressing. We're just okay. gonna kind of do a swoosh. It's a very classic term, you know. You are swoosh. so fancy. I like yeah, this. Yeah, we, we we got the fancy. And then we're just this is tossed in that dressing as well, just a little yes. of that, and a little bit of smoked sea salt, which we've got here. So we're just gonna kind of do a little. This is our fen fennel and orange salad. It's a really traditional uh, Italian salad. I so love that. We've got some nice. Uh, Orange segments, also another fancy word. Se yeah. Segment. <laughs> segments segment. for a segment. Say, oh, oh yeah, 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 that's yeah. what we did there. Yeah. <laughs> now, I also hear that um, Il Solito is having like a grand reopening. Yeah. And you guys have like a list of, of activities Lo going on. Lots of fun events going on next week. Everything from drag shows to all night happy hours. Uh, we're really going pretty hard. Uh, trying to get the word out that downtown is back and yes. like back and going. Oh, we love that. We're downtown. We love it. celebrating anything that's downtown. Oh my gosh, drag shows and this the food that you guys have going on. Okay, we I want to make sure that everyone can see this too. Oh, yeah, We're going to yeah. keep preparing, but you guys take a look at that and I've always heard that um the the more color that food has like the better it's gonna yeah, be yeah i think we all eat with our eyes first it's like the first yeah. thing you see it's definitely it's important so yeah we've got some nice castle Vetrano olives which are a nice fresh green italian olive uh we've got some pickled shallots we did a really light lemon pickle on it for some good acid these are just some uh dill fronds we're gonna kind of finish it with super simple super light salad um it's kind of it we've got some good cheese here this is also the cheese this is a wine aged hard goat cheese. Oh. Yeah. So that's, that's fancy stuff. That's kind of it. <laughs> we... So as the chef, what are you most excited about? Cuz we I mean, we talked about the grand opening, Valentine's Day is coming up. So that's I'm sure probably like a really crazy hectic busy time for you. Yeah, I'm really excited about our happy hour program. We're going to bring a late night happy hour back to downtown. I think there's definitely a lack of that lately. Yeah. As an industry person getting off late, I've always been looking for places to go and since, you know, COVID happened, a lot of places are gone. So we're really excited to bring a great happy hour program and a really cool fresh new menu. Oh, I mean, all of this food that we have looks amazing. Tell us about this dish that we have right here. So yeah, that is a house-made pasta that we do in a giant roll and we slice. It's baked in our house marinara. It's got some fresh mozzarella on it, some pecorino cheese and a little micro herbs. There's two kinds of tomatoes. We like to say wild and tame. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's some spinach in there. It's a nice uh, vegetarian option for our prefi. For a holiday like Valentine's Day, I have to, to wonder, it, as a chef in the back of the kitchen, I'm sure things get crazy, right? Yeah. Is it, do you dry, like get hype off of that? Like yeah, it's like, it's, it's a team sport, I like to say. Yeah. It's like we go through times where it's, you know, mellow and everyone's down, but then there's innings that yeah. it's just crazy and we all come together. But we thrive on it. The busier we are, it's kind of like I said, it's controlled chaos, I yeah. guess. You like, you know, it, yeah. I love that because I, I always sometimes think, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. Like it's so busy here. And I'm and now I'm making uh, reservations and plans. But in the back of my mind, I'm like, you love your job. Yeah. Like, and we can tell through the, the food that you brought here today. And I mean, just being a chef, that's really exciting. So I'm in the back of my mind, I'm like, this is like the Olympics for the chefs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Valentine's Day is, it, Valentine's and New Year's, those are, those are Olympic sports for sure. Yeah. But uh, it's great. We put a really good menu together and we, you know, we hope to present the best we can. I love it. Well, I'm going to try yeah. this uh, as we go to break. <laughs> But uh, yes, uh, V-Day is right around the corner. So you guys got to get to Il Solito ASAP. 